Hey everyone, this is Joy Paris with Rich Girl Network TV on the red carpet for Surviving Compton here in West Hollywood at the London Hotel. Stay tuned and keep watching Rich Girl Network TV. You're playing like pretty somebody pretty iconic. How does it feel to play somebody that's here, alive and rocking? Right, and that was the biggest thing with the role. You know, it's not like he's dead and gone. Like he's alive, so he can look at it and be like, Nah, that's not me. Right, right. And people, people can see it and say, Nah, that's not how he is. So it was a lot of challenge. It was a big challenge, um, but it was one that I took on with pride, and um, I appreciated the opportunity. You know, when you were researching how to embody him, what are some of the things you picked up that you felt were really important for you and innate in your personality to put into this role truly well a lot of people interpret him as being angry all the time and, and there's an anger that comes out but he's a thinking man that was the biggest thing that I realized so a lot of people you know they're coming with the thug gangster rap but he was a thinking man he always knew where the step was going to be he knew his moves and he just his approach may have been different but it was direct it was like you're going to get it and this is what I have to say so you know when it comes down to it um, what that's, that's how I took it you know so <laughs> were there times in filming that you felt the pressure was on you I mean of course the pressure was on but when the pressure was on what did you do to just calm yourself down and go and say to yourself I got this what did you do I, I listened to his music I listened to his music and just sending myself back in with what I had prepared and just understanding it. and I have a couple I have a couple things that uh, I took personally from his interviews that just hit home with me like his relationship with his older brother and I have that same kind of relationship and you know everything happens for a reason and, you know your moment is your moment so embrace it enjoy it so that's what I do and you know there's no such thing as pressure really it's all made up in your mind so if you just breathe a little bit you'll ease up so that's all right congratulations quickly social media before you go what's your social media at vonnie k v-o-n-i-i-k on everything that's thank right. you vonnie thank you so congratulations much. thanks I was like, who is this beautiful, stunning woman? Of course, you're the writer. The writer. <laughs> the writer has to be in it. It's in the contract. Why not supposed to be stunning? <laughs> I mean, this is so historic. What is it like, I mean, writing the story? You're writing about the, uh, people who are around, who are here. How was that for you as a writer? It was really, really um, quite an intense experience because 100% of the story came from Michele herself, from interviews with Michele. Because this is all about her experience and her perspective on her experience. So when someone is telling you a story that has so much pain in it, of course it's a very, very intense experience and sometimes we had to just stop and go, Okay, either you need to breathe or I need to breathe. You know, it's just getting intense. It's good. It, it sounds to me it's very therapeutic writing this story for her. What did you, it's very therapeutic writing a story like this. What did you come away with as a writer doing this connection of writing the story? Well, here's what I came away with. I think that people, I mean, I'm a very fortunate woman in that I've never been in the kind of abusive situation that she survived. And I think until you take a couple of steps in those shoes, you don't understand how complicated it is. I think it's very easy for people to say, why didn't you leave? Why didn't you do this? But the thing is, given how she was taught, she was doing what she knew to do. And so this is a story of a woman's evolution. Okay, and I, it's, it was an eye-opener for me too, because I think it is easy to stand on the outside and judge, or even to judge Dre, or to judge should. You know, what I hoped to do in the story, what I've attempted to do, is humanize all of it. So you can see, it's just, it's life, people. It's people. It's, it's who we are. It's what we do. How wonderful. Before you leave, can you share with us your social media? Do you have Instagram and Twitter and we can follow you and stay in touch? My daughter has. <laughs> I, I know. Everybody's on me. You know, I'm like, how? Oh, I, I barely have time to get through my day. I don't have time to be tweeting. But I know I have to do that. Well, we'll Google you. Good enough. Okay, thank you. Before I let you leave the carpet, describe this uh, film in three words. Ooh. It's a revelation. Wow. Lovely. It's a revelation. Thank you so much. And congratulations. Thank you so much.